棒。The boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there lived a shepherd boy. <sighs> oh, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything fun I can do? The shepherd boy came up with an idea, and he ran into town yelling, "Ow!" Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf! Where? Where's the wolf? The village people all came out with sticks and clubs. What? A wolf? A wolf? There's a wolf? wolf? There's a wolf? 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, the wolf! Yeah, the wolf! <laughs> I just made that up. I can't believe I tricked you all. <laughs> The village people <gasps> became、nice. furious, like、and they left.、Like、the boy had so much fun playing the wolf trick again. A few days later, the boy played the wolf trick again. Ow! Wolf! There's a huge wolf! The people came out running with their sticks and clubs again. <laughs> I tricked you again. <laughs> you evil boy! We're never going to fall for this trick again. The people were even more furious this time when they left. No,、oh, come on,、uh, let's go. Then one day, a big and scary wolf really did appear. <coughs> help! Please, someone help! There's a wolf, really. Huh? There he goes again. Does he think we're going to fall for that trick again? That's absurd. Hearing his cries, the village people didn't move an inch. But it was at that time that the wolf <coughs> ate all the sheep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My sheep! My poor sheep! <laughs> The bear and two friends. Two best friends were walking through a forest. Their names were Chubby and Skinny. Hey, Chubby, you and I are closer than brothers, aren't we? <laughs> you bet, Skinny. I will always be there for you, no matter what. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's when Chubby and Skinny swore on their friendship, and just as they did, <laughs> a big bear appeared right in front of them. Ah!、Uh, help! Help! Skinny quickly ran. Climbed up a tree. He sat there with his legs dangling. Chubby, on the other hand, was so fat that he couldn't run away. Okay, if I pretend to be dead, the bear won't eat me. Chubby quickly fell to the ground and pretended to be dead. That's when the bear walked up to Chubby and sniffed him. Then he walked away towards the mountains. After the bear disappeared, Skinny came down from the tree and asked, "Hey, Chubby, I saw the bear whisper something in your ear. What did he say?" Chubby looked at Skinny in disappointment and replied, "He said that a friend that climbs up a tree and saves only himself isn't a friend at all." What? What? The lion and the mouse. One sunny day, a lion was resting after eating a wonderful meal. When all of a sudden, a busy mouse that was running around accidentally bumped into him. How 
dare you carelessly wake me up like that? The lion got up and caught the mouse. He was just about to eat him. But the scared little mouse begged the lion for mercy. Oh, great lion, please spare me. I know that one day you will need my help. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> exactly what can a little mouse like you do to help a big lion like me? Anyway, I'm already full, so I will let you go. The lion <laughs> laughed loudly and set the mouse down. A few days later, the lion got caught in a hunter's trap. He hung there helplessly. Oh, 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 oh. Help! Help! Please! Somebody help me! The lion was stuck in the net and couldn't move at all. Just then, the little mouse heard the lion's cries. So he went to see what was going on. Mr. Lion, hang tight! I will save you! Squeak! Squeak! The mouse started to gnaw on one piece of the net, and then another, until finally, the lion was free. My little friend, thank you for saving me. I will never underestimate you or your size again. The lion apologized to his new little friend. Thank you so much, mouse. You truly saved me. You're welcome, my big friend. <laughs> <laughs> the donkey and the salt. There once was a donkey that always carried bags on his back. One day, his One, master put bags of salt on his back. Two and three. Whoa! Why does my back feel so heavy today? Hee -haw, hee -haw. The donkey struggled with the heavy bags of salt until finally he fell into the river. Hee -haw, hee -haw. Help me! Help me! Hee -haw. The donkey splashed and splashed, but couldn't come out. Finally, he came out and was pleasantly surprised. All of the salt bags became light as air. Aha! Uh -huh. If I go into the water with the bags, they will become lighter. The donkey was delighted at what he thought he discovered. A few days later, the master put more bags on the donkey's back. But this time, they were bags of cotton. Hmm, the bags aren't very heavy today. As the donkey passed the river this time, he decided to purposely fall into the river. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Now the bags will be even lighter! A little while later, the donkey tried to come out of the river. Oh my! What's this? I can't stand up. Why are these bags so heavy now? What the donkey didn't know is that unlike salt, cotton becomes heavier in water. The poor donkey thought he was so smart. But in the end, he wasn't very smart at all. <laughs> The Sun and the Wind One day, the wind approached the sun and asked, Hey, sun, who do you think is the strongest in the world? It's me, the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? The sun chuckled. If you don't believe me, Let's bet on it! Ha 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 ha! 
Just then, they saw a man walking through the field. See that man? Whoever can make him take off his jacket wins. As soon as the wind said that, he started to blow as hard as he could. That's strange. Why is the wind so strong today? <coughs> the man held on to his jacket tightly. <coughs> the wind blew harder and harder, but the stronger the wind blew, oh, the tighter the cold. man held on to his so jacket. Huh, huh, oh, huh, I'm too tired. Huh, huh. Oh, I can't blow any more. Oh, oh, oh. As soon as the wind stopped, the sun came out. Okay then, it's my turn now. Watch this. The sun laughed and started to shine as bright as she could. Huh? Why is it suddenly so hot? Oh, it's too hot. Oh, whew. The man started to undo one button, then another, and another. But it was still too hot, so he took off his jacket and threw it aside. Oh, oh, it's too hot. See that wind? You embarrassed yourself by trying to show off. The wind became so embarrassed that he blew away. The Frog and the Cow One day, a frog was playing in a grassy field when all of a sudden, he saw a cow. Wow! Cows are really big! The frog was mesmerized by the cow's great size. When the frog returned home, he took a deep breath and puffed up his cheeks. Then he asked his family. So, what do you think? Do I look as big as a cow? No! The family replied, shaking their heads. So the frog took an even deeper breath, puffed up his whole body, and asked, now I look as big as a cow, right? Nope. nope! The family replied again, shaking their heads even more. What? I still look smaller than a cow? This can't be! This time, the frog took the deepest breath he could and puffed himself up with all his might. But as he puffed and puffed, his belly popped. Oh, my stomach. My poor stomach. Oh. The Ant and the Grasshopper Chirp, chirp, I love summer. Chirp, chirp. I love singing, sang Grasshopper, resting on a tree on a hot summer day. While under the tree, Ant was sweating and slaving away. <laughs> hey, Ant, life is too short to work so hard. <laughs> Grasshopper said to Ant, because Ant was working all summer long. Listen, Grasshopper, if you don't prepare for winter now, you're going to starve. Heave ho! Heave -ay. Oh, there's plenty of time. Why worry? I'm going to go back to my singing now. Chirp, chirp! In no time, summer went and the freezing winter came. The wind howled and howled, and buckets of snow fell from the winter sky. Oh, 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 
I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so cold. What if Aunt is right and I starve to death? Grasshopper went to look for food. But instead of finding food, he got lost in the snow. And he could barely move his legs anymore. Luckily, Grasshopper found Ant's house. He mustered up enough energy to knock on the door. Please, Ant, will you give me some food? Or even just a crumb, please? Don't worry, Grasshopper. I have plenty of food. Come on in. Grasshopper went inside. He sat next to the fire and ate until mm. he couldn't eat any more. This is delicious. Aunt, I'm really sorry for making fun of you before. That was wrong of me. That's okay. You can help me next year. <laughs> It was then that Grasshopper finally understood why Ant had worked so hard in the summer. And he was thankful that he had such a good friend. The Goose That Laid Golden Eggs One day, a poor farmer suddenly got a goose. It was a special goose that laid one golden egg every day. My heavens, this is unbelievable. The egg is gold. Ha ha ha! The poor farmer decided to sell the eggs. And soon after, he became rich. That's a good goose. Keep laying those golden eggs. The farmer became very greedy. He was now already rich. But he wanted to become even richer. How come the goose lays only one egg a day? There's no way I'm going to become really rich like this. There must be a way to collect a bunch of golden eggs at one time. The farmer became so greedy that all he thought about was getting richer. Oh, I bet there are a bunch of golden eggs inside the goose's belly. I bet if I cut open its belly, I could get them all out at once. But there were no golden eggs inside. In fact, there was nothing inside. Oh, how could I have been so foolish? My greed has caused me to lose everything now. <laughs> At that moment, the farmer understood what he had done. There were no more golden eggs. Oh, my poor eggs! <laughs> the bat, the beast, and the bird. Long, long ago, a battle broke out between the beasts of the ground and the birds in the sky. A cowardice bat watched the fight to see which side would win. As soon as he saw the beasts winning, he decided to hide his wings and find the king lion. Your Majesty, since I resemble a land creature like a mouse, I would like to be a part of your team. <sighs> wow. Yes, I can see that. From now on, Bat, you are one of us. <laughs> oh, nice to be together. Wow, that's good for us. Before long, the birds of the sky began to gain control. Now the worried bat decided he needed to visit with the king of the birds, the eagle. Your Majesty, I too have wings of a bird. Please let me join you. All right, bat. From now on, you are a bird. Oh. We are yes, together. He has wings. The fight between the beasts and the birds endlessly continued. And the cowardice bat continued to go back and forth, changing his position. One day, the battles were finally over, and
and there was peace in the forest. King Eagle, from now on, the beasts and the birds are one. Yes, King Lion, we are now one family. <laughs> <laughs> The cowardice bat, however, wasn't welcomed by either side. We don't want anything to do with your kind. Leave the forest. Roar! You bad thing! Leave the forest! Leave the forest! Leave the forest! After the bat was shunned by the king, he had no choice but to fly off to a dark and lonely cave. <laughs> The queen is jealous, very, very jealous. She gives Snow White a red apple.